lot of you guys have asked us about doing the, the basic, normal, easy drop from the back court. Well, here it is. Let's go. The first important thing is the grip. Like all other shots in badminton, we need to have a starting position that is with loose fingers. And in the, the forehand drop, like this tutorial is about, we have the forehand grip. So the neutral position on the grip with loose fingers, that is a good way to go. The body position to the drop is also a thing to focus on because you might be able to do a drop with, with this movement where you have the, the body face to the net. I would of course recommend you always to have the side to the net. So no matter what, you, no matter what shot you do on the back court, you still have the same starting position. And that is this position where you have the side to the net and both of the arms up. So in this position, I can do every stroke there is in badminton and I can also do the basic drop. So you add the full swing in your arm with all the basic techniques where you have the side to the net. You still have the elbow coming forward with this position. And when you hit the shot, instead of doing the full rotation in your forearm, like if it were the power smash, you go through, you follow through the shot, hit the shuttle all the way up in the air, like I'm doing here, but with a very, very relaxed move towards the shuttle. When you hit the shuttle all the way up in the air, the wrist also needs to be in a small angle. So for example, if I hit the shuttle with this movement, with my wrist all the way straightened out like this, it's very tricky for me to control my shot because then it will be my wrist that is controlling what I'm doing. So if I'm adding just a little bit of an angle in my wrist, it's e easier for me to use my full arm and it will be easier for me to control. So if we put all these things together, the drop would look something like this, side to the net, elbow, hit, and follow through. And I'm relaxed in all my moves. When I hit the shuttle, if I'm straightened all the way up here, it's very tricky for me to do precise shots. It's not comfortable for me to be in this position. So the arm takes it a little bit down and a little bit of an angle on your wrist. It will be more smooth and much more comfortable for you to do this drop. Try to use the same technique whether you are in the, around the head side or in a china jump in the forehand. You can try to change the angle of the racket head a little bit depending on in which position you will get the shot. So if you have it clean on, you can maybe hit the shuttle in a, in a neutral position like this. If you go all the way out here, you can maybe twist it around just a little bit so we get a more clean hit and the same goes for the forehand. So it's more or less the same no matter what position you're in, but you can change the angle just a little bit depending on your own position. Oh! 
That was the basic drop. I hope you learned a lot. Last tip here is that think about the drop as a, as a shot that will build up your game, that will move your opponent very close to the net. Don't think that we need to do, uh, to do winners on all these, uh, these drops, but it's a really, really good variation that will, um, that will help your cut and your smashes because the opponent doesn't know what, what will come for you. So really try to be focused on the precision in these drops. Thanks a lot for following on us and have a great day everybody. We'll see you soon in our next tutorial.